This is the first time I'm ever owning this DC Silver Age key issue. Want to know what it is? Well, you know what to do at this point. Stick around. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. What is up, my comic book collectors? My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And today, I'm proud to show off a DC book for all my DC fans. So this way you can see I'm not all about Marvel, even though most of my collection is Marvel. Uh, this is a DC first appearance. It's a Silver Age key issue. Um... I actually would not have known what this book was if it wasn't for the fact, while I was browsing around on eBay, the person put in the title the significance of this book. So it shows that even if you've been collecting comics for a while, you may not know everything. And um, that's one of the reasons why I love not only making these kind of videos, but also watching people's videos. Because then I can get an idea about books that even I did not know about. So, let's open this up. And before I unveil it, I always want to make sure that uh, you wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout-out. Ooh, these are already done. If you want to be one of those people, all you have to do is be a subscriber. And if you want to ask for one, that will speed up the process. Just keep in mind, there is a pretty decent line waiting so be patient your your username will come up so let me zoom in a little bit better so yeah i love collecting marvel but i don't have any problem with dc at all i'm one of those people it's like why do you have to only love one you know i never understood the the fanboy thing where one is great and the other is you know not great we'll just put, keep it that way why can't they both be great I mean, when you collect comics, you should love all comics, not just one particular brand. I mean, if you do, that's your thing. But I don't mind collecting any comic as long as it's something that makes me happy. So, let's reveal the first appearance of this DC Silver Age Key. And this is The Flash, issue number 106, which is the first appearance of Gorilla Grodd. Now... By the look of this cover, I would have never known that. And because I don't really collect as many DC comics as I do Marvel, I'm not as familiar with the covers and the specific, you know, first appearances of, you know, Gorilla Grodd isn't a major DC character, but he's definitely a fairly popular one. I mean, he was in the, the video game that just came out, like, last year. So people do know who he is, but uh, you'd never know it with the cover because he's not on it. So this is a very expensive book. This is a couple of hundred dollars, even in low grade. Now you can see this is probably about a 2.5, a 2.0 to a 2.5. I mean, there is a little bit of staining here. There are some um, color breaking creases along the spine. Uh, I will check, but it looks like, as you can see, the staples are intact. Um, now this, I thought at first, might have been trimmed. But I saw a lot of these books, even ones that are graded, uh, some, I guess it might have been one of those manufacturing things where they just cut it off at certain points. So it definitely was not trimmed. Um, you could see here there's some color breaks, but overall it presents pretty well. There's a couple of color breaks here. So like I said, this is a lower grade, but I, I love the pink. It definitely stands out well, especially against the yellow. So overall, the cover presents well, and to me, that's the most important part. I don't mind as much if there's damage on the spine, as long as the cover looks pretty decent. So this would look pretty good to get graded, and eventually I will be getting this graded. Now, like I said, this book is a couple of hundred dollars just in a, a 0 0.5. I got a steal on this book, because this can come back a graded 0 0.5, and I would have still made out on this. Uh, this is another one of those late night wins, so I encourage people all the time, try and bid late at night because there's a lot less bidders out there and you have a higher chance of getting a better deal. So if you could stay up late, I, I promise you, you're going to find a lot more books that way, especially at cheaper prices. So with Flash 106, first appearance of Gorilla Grodd, 
with shipping and handling, I only paid a total of $247.20 for this book. So, again, not you know, not a high grade. To me, low grade is better than no grade. But this will definitely do, especially for the price, because a 0 0.5 costs about $400 and up. And I've seen these at so many different auctions where even like a coverless one is going for about $200. So there are always deals to be found. And again, because I collect mostly Marvel and I didn't know about this book, it wasn't like I was hunting for it. Because I'll give you one of my tips. I never hunt for a specific book. I just look and, and they all find me. I know as crazy as that sounds, but it happens time and time again. And I may not get the best deals as far as, you know, I didn't pay 10 cents for it back in the day because I basically wasn't alive. But considering what the going rates are, you see that time and time again, I tend to pay a lot lower than what the current rates are. And that's all you can do when you're buying a book. You already bought it. You know, you're, obviously you're going to get a, bigger, a better deal. But look in um, yard sales. Look in um, antique shops. Go to places. Try trades. There's always a way to get things that you want. So I didn't know I wanted this book until I came across it. And to me, that's when I know to pounce on it, especially when I research to see what the prices are before I bid. Make sure you do your homework. Because, you know, if you overpay for something, you know, you could blame everybody. But if you didn't do your own research... You know, you got to take responsibility. So before I make a bid on something that I'm not familiar with, I want to make sure I check what's significant about the book, what the going rates are, what people are paying for that book. Because just because it says, let's say, a value of a book is $500, just because they say it's it's worth $500 does not mean that's what they're paying. Some people pay six, $700 for a book that's only worth $500. I mean, you see it, like, for example, with Hulk 181 all the time. So, with that being said, if you watch this far, tell me which finger I am holding up, and that's what I want you to do with this video, if you are so kind. Wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout-out. Hit subscribe if you want to be one, or you just want to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next video. And yes, there was an evil Flash villain that played the flute. How scary. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. If you want to check out some of my We Love Comics merchandise and support the channel, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.